Okay, now we got some action going on in the pan, some bubbles starting to form, so we really want to turn it right down to a medium-low quickly and just let it simmer because it will burn. Chef Meg, go ahead and add our American cheese and you'll notice as she adds it, I'm just going to let it sit for a couple seconds and really just absorb the heat that's happening in the pan. That helps me break the cheese down a little bit and I'm going to agitate it uh, in our milk with this whisk by starting to break it up and really just making some quick movements in the pan with the whisk will help start to incorporate the cheese into the milk. If you do this too fast, we, you, something happens uh, in culinary arts that we call breaking the sauce. If you uh, do this too slowly or too quickly, so this recipe requires a little bit of skill. You, could, you don't want to break your sauce. But you'll notice it just starts to, I don't have to do much, just starts to incorporate. Okay, Meg, I'm ready for my shredded cheese. And again, I'm just going to let this cheese absorb the heat for a couple of seconds. She's going to add about half. And you'll notice it starts to get really thick really quickly. It starts to smell really, really yummy. Again, I'm not over stirring or moving anything around too much. Okay, I'm ready for the rest, Meg. Just going to push it down in there in that nice heated up sauce. And it starts to get stringy. When the cheese starts to get stringy and glossy, you know it's time to start agitating it, moving it around a little bit. Okay, white pepper, Chef Megan, please. Thank you. So you will see, we are pretty much done. The sauce came together that quickly. I'm just going to incorporate this white pepper in here nicely. And that is it. Then all you have to do... Take your already cooked rotini, or elbows in our case, add them to your sauce. And again, the cool thing about culinary arts is that if you like a real cheesy mac and cheese, use less pasta. If you like uh, macaroni and cheese that just is basically noodles with a little bit of cheese flavor, use more pasta. You don't have to feel restricted to anything.